Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts and I want to talk about a number of different terms in terms of the digestive tract. Now one of them is called metabolic endotoxemia. Another term is intestinal hyperpermeability. And another term that you see in the literature is called bacterial translocation. And when I was going through school, we learned it as something called leaky gut. And to me, all of these terms really mean similar things. What it's telling us is that the lining of the digestive tract, that one cell deep lining of the digestive tract, and between those cells that line the digestive tract is something called a tight junction. And that tight junction between the cells helps to make sure that anything that is within the digestive tract, so within the lumen of the digestive tract, doesn't end up in the bloodstream. But what happens though is over time as we're eating the wrong foods that are causing inflammation in the digestive tract and taking in toxic loads, sometimes through our foods like glyphosate, is damaging to the, these tight junctions. And so we get a breakdown of the tight junctions that hold those cells together of the digestive tract. And when we have damage to the tight junctions, now we have spaces between the cells. So food that's not completely digested can end up in the bloodstream. And this is called leakiness of the digestive tract. It's called a intestinal hyperpermeability. It's called metabolic endotoxemia because what's happening is we have endotoxins so toxins that are coming from within the body like LPS so lipopolysaccharides so those LPS those lipopolysaccharides which are breakdown products of the bacteria that live within our digestive tract they can end up within the bloodstream. And this is something that's measurable. And when those LPS end up in the bloodstream, this can cause a number of different problems in the body. And this can also be called bacterial translocation. So that bacteria that should be in the lining, in the digestive tract, on the one side of the lining of the digestive tract, in the lumen side, is actually translocating into the bloodstream. Again, this is something that's measurable. And so what's happening is that when that bacteria is ending up in the bloodstream, it's because we have a breakdown of the lining of the digestive tract and specifically those tight junctions that hold those cells together and make sure, should be making sure that nothing gets in. It's acting as that barrier. But when that barrier gets broken down, then food and toxins that are within the digestive tract can end up in the bloodstream. And this can lead to a whole host of health issues because what happens is that now the immune system is activated in the bloodstream and is saying, putting those alarm bells on, saying that this is a foreign substance, this is a substance that shouldn't be there. And when we get a number of substances in the bloodstream that shouldn't be there, getting there through that intestinal tract, what can happen is that we can end up with things like allergies and eczema, and we can get autoimmune disease, chronic disease, diabetes, cancer. And all of this can happen because we have these holes within the lining of the digestive tract. So I hope that gives you a clearer understanding of the problems that 
um, all of these terminologies can cause within the digestive tract. So this is, um, and we can name it a number of things, and when you look at the literature, it's actually under a number of things, but they really mean similar things. So it can be called intestinal hyperpermeability, metabolic endotoxemia. It can be called bacterial translocation, or it could be called leaky gut syndrome. All right, so thank you so much for listening. I encourage you to share this with your family and friends, to press the like button, to make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health.